Hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome back. We're looking at question number 11 on our 2010 Cayley contest. If x and y are positive integers, with x plus y being equal to 31, then the largest possible value of x times y is. Okay, so as a general rule, if you haven't seen a question like this, if we have some numbers, in this case 2, and they add up to some fixed amount, 31 in this case, and we want to make the biggest product of these numbers as we can, we want the numbers to be as close together as possible. If we want the lowest product, the, the, the smallest product, we want the numbers to be as spread out as possible. And the thing sort of flip-flops. If you have a fixed product of numbers and you want the largest sum or you want the, the smallest sum, okay, it sort of reverses. Now, that's if you've seen a question like this. And if you've been practicing uh, math contests, you, you may be familiar with this sort of idea, in which case, okay, we take a look. We want uh, x plus y equal to 31. What are the closest integers, positive integers that do that? 15 and 16, so just multiply them together. Uh, that'll be 15 times 2 is 30, so 30 times 8 should be 240. Okay. Now, suppose we didn't know that. Maybe it's the first time we're writing a contest. Well, what I would do is I'd probably start making a little bit of a chart until I noticed a pattern. Okay. Noticed, in fact, that very pattern. I'll probably just write x and y, and we, we could have 1 and 30. That adds up to 31. Or we could have 2 and 29. And so I'll, I'll also make another column where I look at the product. So the product here, 30, 58, and if you want to, you can write them all out. And off the top of my head, I don't know what 3 times 28 is. 84. And 4 and 27, uh, that's going to be 36 times 3, so 108. And you can, you know, do this for a while. But you will slowly notice all these numbers start to increase as these numbers get closer together. And you can go all the way down to x being 30 and y being... Uh, 1, but you'll find that you just back down to 30, and the one before that is 58. So where does it peak? Somewhere in the middle, where the numbers are as close as possible. And that's a way you can realize, oh, it's going to be a 15 and a 16, or a 16 and a 15. And then you just grab your calculator if you need to, or you can work it out on your own. But you do get the product of 240 for both of them. And that was an answer of A. So you'll notice the, the largest product, the numbers are as close as possible. The smallest product here, the numbers are as far away as possible. Okay? But uh, that uh, finishes up question number 11 here. So up next will be question number 12, and I will see you for that in the next video.